Taylor Swift sat quietly on her couch, scrolling through her phone, her heart pounding. The room was dimly lit, and the soft glow of candles flickered around her. She was home after a long day at the studio, working on her next album. Her phone buzzed, and she saw a message from her publicist. Have you seen the news? The text read. Taylor's stomach dropped. She hadn't. Quickly, she opened Twitter and there it was, every major outlet was covering the story. Travis Kelsey announces breakup with Taylor Swift in shocking interview, her hands shook as she clicked on the link. There he was, Travis, sitting across from a well-known sports reporter. He looked calm, composed, but the words he spoke sent shockwaves through Taylor's body. I care deeply for Taylor, but our lives are moving in different directions, Travis said, his voice steady. The spotlight can be overwhelming, and right now, I think it's best for both of us to focus on our individual paths. Taylor couldn't breathe. She felt the tears welling up in her eyes as the weight of his words sank in. It wasn't that she didn't see it coming, they'd had their disagreements, their struggles to balance their hectic schedules, but hearing it like this, without any warning, was devastating. The video ended, but her mind kept replaying his words. She had thought they were on the same page, that they could make things work. They had talked about the future, about supporting each other no matter how crazy their lives got. But now it seemed like all of that was slipping through her fingers. Her phone buzzed again. This time, it was a text from Travis. She hesitated, unsure if she was ready to read it, but her emotions got the best of her. She opened the message. I'm sorry you had to hear it this way. I didn't know how else to do it. I didn't want to hurt you. Tears spilled down her cheeks. How could he say that? How could he think this was the right way? She had been blindsided, and now the whole world knew before she even had a chance to process it herself. Taylor stood up, pacing the room, trying to calm herself down. Her mind was racing, was this it? Was this really how their love story ended? Just a headline, an interview, a sudden end to something that had meant so much to her? She grabbed her guitar, the familiar weight of it in her hands a small comfort. The words started to flow, a song pouring out of her heart as the tears continued to fall. She sang about love and betrayal, about the pain of losing someone who couldn't handle the pressures of the world they lived in. Her voice cracked with emotion, but she kept playing, letting the music carry her through the storm. The announcement had shocked her, broken her heart, but she knew one thing, she would turn the pain into something beautiful. Just like she always did. Taylor Swift had just finished rehearsals for her latest world tour when her phone buzzed. It was an alert from the entertainment news site she kept tabs on. The headline made her freeze, Travis Kelsey makes shocking announcement about relationship with Taylor Swift. Her heart raced as she unlocked the phone and read the article. Travis, her boyfriend for the past few months, had done an exclusive interview during a sports segment, and in it, he revealed something that made her stomach drop. I love Taylor, but right now, I think it's best if we take a step back from our relationship, he had said. There's so much going on in both our lives. My NFL career, her music, it's overwhelming. We're both under incredible pressure. She reread the words again, disbelief clouding her thoughts. They had discussed their busy schedules, of course, they'd had those conversations in the late hours of the night when he was sore from a game and she was exhausted from the studio. But a breakup? She hadn't seen that coming. Taylor felt her throat tighten, and before she knew it, tears welled up in her eyes. She had always been good at keeping her emotions in check, at least in front of others, but this was different. Travis had been her anchor in a whirlwind of fame, stadium lights, and screaming fans. They had managed to find something real amidst all the chaos, or so she thought. As the tears rolled down her cheeks, she heard a knock at the door. It was Andrea, her mother, who had been staying with her during the tour. One look at Taylor's tear-streaked face, and Andrea's expression softened. What happened, sweetheart, she asked gently, sitting beside her on the couch. Taylor handed her the phone without saying a word. As her mother read, Taylor wiped at her eyes, trying to calm the storm of emotions crashing inside her. How could Travis do this? And why hadn't he spoken to her first? I'm sure there's more to this than what the media is saying, Andrea said, trying to soothe her daughter. 
you know how things get twisted. But Taylor shook her head. He should have come to me first, mom. We were supposed to figure this out together. I didn't think he'd just announce it like that. Andrea put an arm around her, and for a moment, Taylor let herself feel small, like a child who just wanted to be comforted. It had been a long time since she felt this vulnerable. Her music had always been her outlet for heartbreak, but this felt different. Travis had been someone she truly believed she could share her life with. A few hours passed, and Taylor found herself pacing her hotel room, her phone untouched on the dresser. She couldn't bring herself to call Travis yet. She needed answers, but more than that, she needed time to process the fact that the man she loved had blindsided her. Finally, the phone rang. It was him. Her hand hovered over the screen before she answered, her voice barely above a whisper. Travis? There was a pause on the other end. Then his deep voice came through, full of regret. Taylor, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for you to find out this way. Tears threatened to spill again, but she bit them back. Then why didn't you tell me? Why go public before we even talked about this? I didn't plan on it. The interviewer asked, and I? I panicked, he admitted. I've been feeling the pressure from football, the media, everything. I thought distancing ourselves might give us both room to breathe. She let his words hang in the air for a moment, her mind racing. Room to breathe, she repeated, her voice cracking. We're supposed to support each other, not run from the pressure. I know. And I messed up. I never wanted to hurt you. Silence stretched between them. Taylor wiped at her face, trying to steady her breath. I just wish you had talked to me first, Travis. We could have figured this out together, she whispered. I should have, he agreed softly. Can I come over? Can we talk in person? Taylor hesitated, her heart still aching, but she knew they needed to have this conversation face to face. Okay, she said finally. But Travis, this can't happen again. I promise, he said. I'll be there soon. As she hung up, Taylor looked out the window at the sprawling city below, the lights twinkling like a sea of tiny stars. She had always been strong in the face of heartbreak, but this time, it felt different. This time, it wasn't just about a broken heart, it was about trust. And as much as she wanted to believe in Travis, she wasn't sure if things would ever be the same again. Taylor Swift sat on the edge of her bed, her phone clutched tightly in her trembling hands. The weight of the day pressed heavily on her, and despite the soft glow of the golden sunset filtering through the curtains, all she could feel was an overwhelming sense of heartbreak. A single notification on her screen had shattered her world, asterisk, Travis Kelsey makes shocking announcement about his relationship with Taylor Swift. Asterisk her heart pounded as she watched the video clip of Travis standing before a sea of reporters, his face serious, his tone measured. He looked like the man she loved, but his words stung like a dagger. I want to be honest with everyone, Travis began, glancing at the ground before lifting his gaze. Taylor and I have had an incredible journey, but after long conversations and reflection, I've realized we're in different places in our lives. We've decided to take some time apart. Taylor's breath caught in her throat as he continued, this wasn't an easy decision, but it's one we both believe is for the best. Tears welled up in her eyes. She had no idea this was coming. Yes, they'd had disagreements, long-distance relationships were never easy, especially when both of their careers demanded so much of their time, but she thought they could work through it. She believed in love, in second chances, in fighting for what felt right. How could Travis have made such an announcement without talking to her first? The public had always been a part of their relationship, but this felt like a betrayal. Her phone buzzed with messages from friends, fans, and news outlets, all eager for her response. She couldn't focus on any of it. The apartment felt eerily quiet as Taylor let the phone slip from her hands onto the bed. She buried her face in her hands, the sobs finally breaking free. Every moment they shared flashed through her mind, the private dinners, the late-night calls, the sweet texts he'd send before games. They were more than just a celebrity couple, more than a headline. They were real. But now, with the entire world watching, it felt like her heart had been put on display and broken in front of millions. 
After what felt like hours, she wiped her tears, pulling herself together the way she always had in the face of heartbreak. She knew this pain would fuel her music, that her broken heart would inspire new lyrics, new melodies. But that was for later. For now, she allowed herself to grieve the love she thought would last. She picked up her guitar, strumming softly as new words began to form in her mind. Through the tears, a song was already taking shape, a song about lost love, betrayal, and the courage to move on. The world would hear her side of the story soon enough.